What's going on everybody? Travis with RAC Garage and in this video we are doing part three of the RAC flip series on the 29 Model A Coupe. We get it steering. We get something else. We do something else. Forgot what I do. But main thing is the steering gets taken care of. So watch this one. It's a good one. All right, working on the flip series again. Uh, I found a belt that fits. I just need to move the radiator, the radiator, the generator up. I found my other two. There was a hole in one of these wheels. I welded it up. It's fine. So those are fine. Holds air, good. It's obviously a tube in it because these are tube tires. Uh, so now all four wheels match. I found three caps. Jacob said he has another one he'll give me to add to it. Firestone's all the way around. 35 wires looking pretty cool he is brushing off these aprons we're gonna we're gonna paint them red to match the body slap them under there yes i know they're 30 31 or 30 or 31 i'm not sure which one has the one or two piece 31 has what one piece Those 30 are 31 two piece okay so 31 aprons on there you know another thing i overlooked i thought this was you know i just saw skirts and I'm like oh it's a 29 so they're 31 skirts which it's is still, fine it still look good yeah if you don't run fenders the it, body's the same length so you won't be able to that. tell yeah we just primed up grill shell here plain grill shell um so i have this option or that option depending on what i want to run um, i want to try this one out paint this thing black and see where that gets us a little tidbit this is not the flip series but I made a little, uh, well, me and Jacob made a little bed floor uh, cover. Buddy's truck had a, a section cut out of the bed floor, and he just wanted it pretty much plain with a little design in it. So there you go. I'm finally working on my car. Yeah. Truck. I've been working on it, just not here. Yeah, Jacob's so, working on his coupe. Getting the fenders right. So he this did. This one's a Bondo mess. Yeah. Because why not? He did a patch in the corner where that black is. Yep. Um, I have to fix this. He has got to fix the, the crack. That is. And then make this look not like that. Yeah, he's making a patch for that. Over there, it was pretty damaged. And this one is what? Nothing wrong with this one? Nothing wrong with that one. I just need to make the... Uh, oh. He has a 28-29 fender. Yeah, he needs so to make a flange. Make flange so I can hook it up to the... Oh. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. We'll plug away on this. We don't have much time, maybe an hour, half an hour to an hour. Yeah. Um, Enough we'll time to paint some splash aprons. And... Yeah, stuff them on. <laughs> maybe after we'll paint them, we'll bring them in here. Close the door, blast the heat. It might uh, yeah, try them, a little dry bit. them off. Yeah. This needs a little drying because all the, it's, you know, pulling around in the corners and not drying, so. All the crevasses. Yeah, I might turn it on anyway. All right, we got the grill next to the heater drying off got the aprons drying uh driver one is you know i'm impatient so i'm gonna put them on anyway i think they're drying up the car um so yeah we're gonna send it oops oops Why'd you put your thumb in it? I mean, I didn't avoid it. You can't see it. I just like touched its tacky oh. over it. It just looks dry. Yeah. Huh. Definitely need a thick coat of paint put on it because... Ain't enough? It's like just barely covering or anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me get the bar. I might need to... Pick up the front? Pick up the front corner. I'm gonna try and put it in the back first. Hey. Always grab the biggest bar you can. Makes it easier. Not the biggest bar you can grab, the biggest bar you can fit. So there's a difference. All right. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, back that, yeah, 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 back that up. Because the apron goes out, out at an angle. Yeah, I know. No, not back it up. Like that, right? Yeah, but out, like out towards you. I know. Okay. Yeah, it's flush with the body right now. Like that. Okay. I just want to make sure that the, the bolt goes through. Is there a hole in the front of the... Okay, we're not even close to that slot. So we need to go forward more. The apron needs to go forward? Yeah, unless it doesn't... Unless it doesn't look right. And unless it looks right here, then I'll just drill a hole, but... No, I think you put it forward. Oh, yeah, because I want this to be here. I think that's how it goes. Yeah, probably. I can remember where it went. All right. So, take two. Take two. Happens all the time. Especially around here. Yep. <laughs> we do it nice because we do it thrice. Oh, <laughs> uh, nope. Back. Back a little bit. It's just going to pretty much put it. Oh, oh, forward. You're going too far. Right there. Okay. Now, bring your left hand towards you. Like, grab it and... This? Yeah. Oh, oh, in a little bit. Okay, right there. The Fine. back. Yeah, the back looks even with the frame. Yeah. Cool. All right, I'll, here we go. Here's the nut. I'm going to work the bar on that side until you can get it in the hole. I'm not going to go crazy because I know we're close. Oops. Can I not get it now? Yeah, but now it looks good. Like, it's just coming out of the back of that. Yeah. It's just coming straight out of it. I was thinking about doing split bones for a little while, but now it's like it's going to suck to work on it no matter what. Well, split bones are easier to mount your engine and shit. Yeah, but that's about it. It might have been necessary because they moved it back so far. Yeah, because that's the other thing. The motor mount should be, like, here. Yeah. Ideally. I should be smacking my knuckles on the dash when I shift, and I'm not in this car, so. Are you lined up or No. Or nah. Nah. Now we are. Okay. Hold on, I might just be able to slide this thing in there. Is there a notch? Yeah. Okay. I lifted up a tad. Hold on, I'm gonna barely put the nut on this. What? Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah, go, um, That's good. towards the edge of the car for, with you, with your end. Okay. Back. Back. Nope. Nope. <laughs> towards the, towards the trash bin with the back. Oh, like further? Nope. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, right there. And then I'm just going to drop the rear. So I don't think your finger's under anything, right? Um, no. How's that grill looking? I was just thinking the same thing. I want to put a lot on this bitch. It's definitely still tacky. You know what? Put that on first. Yeah. we look at it all the time. Push Whoops. it out. Huh? Push it out. Look a lot better? Yeah. Push it out here? Yeah. So we can look at it? Yeah. She looks mean. That's pretty cool. It yeah, is. And it hides those phone mounts really nicely. Oh, those look so killer. Yeah. It's a race car right now with no radiator. 
Ja. No radiator, no headlights. Yeah. Race car shit. Race cars don't need headlights because the track's always lit. Yeah. <laughs> Did you buy yours for a 28 or you bought it for a 32? What'd you buy for a 20, 30? I bought it for a 30, yeah. but I need a 20. I need a 32, but yeah. I bought it for a 30. Because okay, so I, was, I wasn't thinking. So I need to get a 29 one. I was thinking the same thing though. No. That I was like, hey, I have an extra one of those laying around because mine doesn't work. Yeah. But I also don't know where it is right now. <laughs> it's probably one of my like 16 boxes of miscellaneous no. Model A crap at this point. See if that seat even sits on it. Yeah. I was looking at it, you know, it looks like pretty similar. We put one of Jacob's fenders on here just for shits and giggles. And look at this. That's kind of cool. If we could roll this fender and like, you know, have it come down instead of, well, out instead of straight down. Yeah. That could be pretty mean. I'm going to do that. <laughs> All right, so we had a false alarm. Um, you know, Jacob lifted the back of the car thinking to seeing how, how light it was. And he put this lip on top of the frame, so we were kind of oh, yeah. over this way. This is fucking perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the way it should be. I might have to roll it a little tiny bit back here, because look at that. Yeah, this is it's too... I got, like, no travel. No, but you'll if, be all right. If I roll it just a little bit... You have I'm plenty gonna... of room in the fender, because the wheel's going to go up into the yeah. fender. All right, yeah. so Jacob is drilling out the old trunk hinge mounts because the inside has no thread left. <laughs> For these pins, I was just gonna swap the pins uh, and use the, what was on here originally, but the threads don't work. So we're gonna switch it out with these, and you know, we're not gonna mess with the nuts and stuff. Trunk lid's good. It hinges, even though we took it off. Trust me. Um, these guys, for the rear spring, I just welded a pad on the top of it instead of making a spacer, you know, to whatever, space it out. Might as well just space these individually. You know, if somebody doesn't like it, they can cut it off. It's not that hard uh, if they want to add some leaves to it. But I like how low it is looks cool so i want to keep it this low so we're going to put those pads on there yeah um and it should be just right just what the doctor ordered and yes i should have just painted that other one but it was black already so Alright, so we got the F1 box jigged up here. Uh, everything's tightened down. Unlike my normal, when I have this loose, I got the vice loose, I got everything loose. It's all tightened down now. Nothing's going nowhere. It makes no sense, but you know. And uh, yeah, we're gonna cut this flange off, make our own, and weld it on.
let's go again. Looks to be in the center, though. It looks good. Yeah, it does. If it's not, you know, I just ruined the next one box. They're so rare. They're getting harder to find. Yeah. yeah. So is everything. That's how you take off a flange. Yeah, all you need is a massive drill press. And... <laughs> no. Any drill press will do, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need one that's 200 years old. And... Yeah. Yep, still hot. That's a shot of money right there. That is. You can tell how uh, not greatly they drilled this out. It's doing pretty good on this, this center. It's not great, but not this far off. That's just the, way they, just the way they drilled it at the factory. So yeah. I guess this needs a douching in uh, the parts washer again. And then we'll kind of clean this up all around, kind of try to blend that. And then slip on our new flange that we make, hold it on, and reassemble. Well, we'll make the flange, stick it in the car, make sure. Because we we'll be able to slip the flange all the way to here if we need to. Yeah. Well, almost. Still got to clear the frame rail, but yeah, it's cool. So, now Jacob's making a plan so we can bolt up that uh, F1 cross member. Um, let's see. So we got it apart here, you know, put it on the end of that. So what I'm doing, I just made up a quick little floor the rumble extension that was in there. Um, you know, I put it in. I'll show you from the other side. It's very sunny out, so footage probably isn't that great. Getting this, because I got to undo a bolt and switch it out with something else um, see I'm trying to put the pedals in but see I added a little uh, extension there because uh, of the Z I didn't close up the sides uh, but you know I'm just kind of giving someone a rough template of what they need to do and finish I, I might rip that out and you know put a couple of rosettes in it to keep it as one piece um, and maybe add some nuts or so you can bolt it in. Who knows? I might make the sides. But right now, this bolt. All right, another piece of the puzzle in. Pedals. I don't have the master cylinder on here uh, because I have the wrong adapter. But pedals are in. That's a win. Uh, I should figure out the firewall, honestly. But, not yet. Oh, see. Yeah. Goes this way, right? Um, yes, maybe. That's the, this is the front. front wall. Probably should just check for the side of the pipe. Yes. <laughs> There we go. And it's low, man. It's kind of nice, though, to have it that low. What? The seat? Yeah. It is nice. Because it's like, very your, nice. Your legs are still on the seat even when you're on the pedals. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, in your car, it's like... I know. It's bad. You feed it. <laughs> so send that F1. This is also kind of cool, just like being this low yeah. down in the car. Send the steering right up through here. Make some kind of mount to this guy. Should be all right. And if I set the car up for me, anyone should be able to drive it. 
a little bit tight for me should be like good for most people yeah right hand drive sick Boing. That's so cool. There you go. Sick. Nice. Yeah. Making making headway. I can't wait to get my windshield frame and these things. Well, look, perfect space for a tank back there. I know. wherever we need it crooked straight on like this whatever we got the flange 3 8 bolts slap it on there you know we'll put the sector shaft and everything in there just to kind of get our the steering wheel where it needs to be and then we'll zap this thing on All right, so we're opening up the hole in the frame for the steering box to poke through it so we can start mocking up the steering. Carbide fun. I forgot gloves. You getting splinters already? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was the worst. I know. I'm going to go get gloves. We can always bend the, well, someone can always bend the pedal. Oh. All right. Uh, that's clamped up. Yeah. Looks pretty all right. Seat is very low, so we can raise the seat up, still have leg room. You could shorten the shaft and still have leg room. Yeah, sitting like right here. Yeah. Room, room noises. Damn. It clears. Uh, does it? It did. What happened? Oh, it does clear. Yeah, it right. clears. Barely. Barely, but it clears. Good luck getting an exhaust in there. We could go over a little more. I think we could. Actually, let's leave it. Because yeah, you're almost in the door. You're getting yeah. close yeah. to the door. This is pretty nice right here. Okay. Yeah. So now it's all clamped up. We can just put a couple tacks on this and take it out and fully weld it. So Travis texted me to record this because he's inside and I didn't, didn't know he texted me. So I forgot to record. But the new plate is tacked on to the steering box. So I just got to finish making all this up. And then we can put the steering box back together. And hopefully get steering on this thing pretty much, except for one part. Um, and then be all set. All right, so this thing welded like shit, even though we preheated it, so I'm gonna dress the weld. And I also, I guess I'll take it out of the vise. Uh, huh. I take braze the underside and dress that so it fits in the hole. So I know if any, if that weld's not good, this one is. Um, I don't know. It just, it was the, the casting was just like laughing at my weld and like barely penetrating it's like rolling off of it i eventually got it to stick but it's not pretty so i don't know i've done this before and i didn't have a big issue i don't know what the hell the problem is with this casting maybe it's just bad um like it's very porous so i don't know but 
you know, I'm soldiering through it. I'm going to take the bird to it, make it pretty. And, uh, you know, like I said, I got the TIG braze on the, the underside. So if anything, that's going to hold the flange on. Um, so that's it. Got to hopefully assemble this and throw it in the car tonight. And now let's get light. All righty. It's time to get this thing in. Come on, Dad. Serious? Alright, here we go. Take three. So I got this, I need to add. Then I got these gross pieces here. Nasty. But they're for seating everything in. So it's kind of important with these guys. Come on. Come on. Really? I gotta touch this like that? Ah! All over the... Gosh darn seat. Come on. There it is. There we go. Ah, now my fingers are all full of grease. Dad gummit. Okay. Boom. Nut on. Boom. All right, got in trouble a little bit working on a Sunday, but I got the steering arm on this side, you know, pitman arm on there. Yeah, all right, so we're in the shop today. We're trying to work on the 36, but I don't know if you can see these lights. They're like flickering and going out. Like, it's really windy outside. There's one out there, two out here. Another one out there, another one out there, two out there, another one there. Um, Those all work this morning. Yeah, they all work this morning. So I'm not going to start getting tools out, electric stuff to work on this yet, because I'm just going to get disappointed when the power goes out. Um, so, got a drag link here. I'm going to straighten it out with the hot wrench, because we just got some gas for it. Mm -hmm. Take the this pitman arm out. Take the steering arm out. I had to cut it. I couldn't get anything out. Um, 
So we'll take care of that. We'll, we'll get the Model A steering. Um, so it's going to be, this might be an addition to the uh, Flip Series Part 3. So. Yeah, we need some fire for this one. Yeah, let's get the fire so going. Yeah, they should be. <laughs> no, they usually aren't. off the bottom. Yeah, grease in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, because we're not... Yeah, stop there. This one. Keep going up. Yeah, that's fine. There. When the power went out a few times, it would get like this really dim, and then all of a sudden like... Nothing. It just... It would just fully go out. It took a while. Um, I feel like it's getting dimmer. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. losing power. Yeah. Look at this. All of those just went out. Yep. Half of those are new bulbs, so. All oh, that's out. Yeah. And we got four, Oh, six, that one's out fully down there. Ten. Cool. 12, Thirteen. Thirteen, I think. Bulbs are out now. Oh. We were out ten minutes ago. Good thing uh, this shit doesn't need it. So. No, the light's cool. I'm gonna get. Okay, now open. Whoa! Can I kill him? No, open this one. Way. This one? No, this one. Yeah. Hurry up. Okay. More? What do I need more of? Thing? Yeah, that's good. Okay. And then heat that all up. Uh, heat right here first. I'm gonna make this bend. Yeah, move around so you're not. Heating up just one spot, but then yep. then you burn it like five times. Hit the thing. Okay. It's tough the, not to touch those things. Like I accidentally closed the oxygen. It doesn't make sense. Electricity doesn't work like that. It does. I guess so. It's red hot. Keep the back side? Back side's not hot. This? Right there. No. Move the torch up and around and get there. Like here? No. Yeah, stand back. <laughs> no, this. I don't know what you're talking about. This. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. No, I got leaves in the shop. <laughs> and I go. Leave me alone. Okay. 
Yeah. Pulls the top one, right? Um. No. Bottom. Yeah. Don't open it. Huh? Close it. Shorts. Don't open it. Yeah, I went the wrong way. That's bad. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, that was bad. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah, I know. Not like second grade. CT. All right, power's officially out. That's fun. Um, but we had the draggling situated. It's outside cooling down. Um, I found these. We're going to throw these with the axle, the stops, the steering stops. Um, found a few more lug nuts, guys. So just not one on every wheel now. It's going to be at least two. Um, and Jacob's helping uh, organize the back since, you know, it's a mess. Yeah, I don't know, so we're kind of just trying to organize. And then I got, I'm going to take a file to the drag link. I mean, the Pitman arm, because, I don't know if you can see, I'll try it again in the sunlight. So, see those, that big notch, that big notch. So these, most of these early Ford steering boxes have four notches, so this kind of only has four, four directions it can go. And we need it to be infinitely adjustable because the steering box is not in the location it's supposed to be. So I'm going to take a triangle file and file in the middle of those big uh, teeth and turn them into a couple little teeth. And that will allow me to put this wherever the heck I want to put it. Um, and it'll be easier to set up the steering. So... I'm going to do that while he's organizing, and hopefully we can get something done while we have no power. You probably say, I do have power. Look at that. It's on. That runs off a of battery, too, so I do, but I don't have power. Lights back on, but I have this all filed out. I'm gonna test and see if I did it right. Not if I did it right, if I did it enough. I know I did it right. A little tight. That's how it's. Yeah, I fire a little more on each one because during the big notch, it's supposed to go on that much. And if I put it over one notch, it goes on a little bit. So it's a little more filing. It'll fit on. All right, so I got it on here. I uh, I put the steering wheel in the center position. This is going to get tightened right down as much as I can. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put the pitman arm on. I mean, the uh, drag link on. We'll be steering, hopefully. All right, our favorite stuff grease. Man. Keeping spoonful for you. Keeping spoonful for you. Yummy. Hell yeah, dude. All 
All right, there she is. Rolling, steering, deuce brakes. Uh, don't quite stop, but you know, everything's in there. Pedals are in there. Steering. No more vice grip stuff on here. when I turn on the camera I stop dropping it so that's why I guess I should keep the camera on all the time so I don't drop the nuts all the time dropped it like six times I thought I was recording that would have been kind of funny no wasn't even recording whatever sick one piece on now the rest that's a different story Oops, probably crooked there. I love the look of the old wood on the roofs. I think it really makes it. Come on. missing a piece of wood that goes from here to here I have the back piece or what's left of the back piece uh, but you know it's still there so I can use it um, so the only thing is that side of the wood is not actually in as you can see but most of it's there looks great Yes, this is old, but I don't have this old piece. And the wood kit's $600. And for a flip, uh, the juice is not worth the squeeze. So, um, put whatever new I have in here. And that's it. Send it. Yeah. So it's pretty cool that I can steer this thing wherever it needs to go. Yeah, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I got further than I thought I would get with this thing. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty cool hot rod for somebody. If anyone local has this piece here, 
Even the old one they took out? I'll take it. Oh, see, look at that. Oh, I have to put bolts through it temporarily just to hold it there. But, sweet. So that concludes episode three of the RAC flip series on the 29, 29 Model A Coupe. Hopefully. Well, there might be a part four. It might be a tiny part four um, on maybe Wednesday when everything comes in. Uh, radiator, hood latches, uh, radiator support rods, that kind of thing. So the hood can be on, flip open, come down with no issues. I don't have to worry about falling off because that's what I've been dealing with. It's been like falling off. If I like I push the thing and stop it abruptly, everything just kind of whoosh, goes forward. So I don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, big progress. Steers. Look at that. Steered on a trailer. And take it home.